That looks familiar. Been what, seven, eight years since I've seen this board? Except the last time it was covered with photos of a different man. Cecile told me what happened. Hmm. The team's worried about you. No, they don't have to be. I'm fine. No, you're not. They don't know what today is. I do. February 1st. Henry's birthday. You remember? He was turning 45. And your mom threw that surprise party. The whole block showed up. And you were baking cupcakes for weeks. And when the big night came, before he can even take off his coat, the pager went off. No, Pasha needed him. He had to miss his own party. And you were disappointed, of course. But you understood. He was helping save people's lives, right? Yeah. But Henry, he was crushed. He was worried that he was missing all these moments with you and your mom. But I told him those cupcakes might be stale now. But you have more birthdays for both of them. Only there weren't. That was the last one before it happened. Barry! Dad! Stay out of the house! Barry! Do the look in my dad's eyes that night. It was the same look in Birch's eyes when they arrested him. Look of an innocent man, desperate not to lose his son, begging someone to believe him. And you do? I do. I just keep thinking about all the time my dad lost. All the birthdays we spent separated by plexiglass. I can't let Birch and his son go through that if he's innocent. I don't know, maybe the team's right. Maybe I'm making something out of nothing. You think maybe I've had blinders up this whole time? Maybe. Or... You can see something they can't. Look. What you went through, I wouldn't wish on anyone. But what it did... was it gave you the ability to believe in the underdog. When no one else is willing to. So, if your gut tells you to not give up on Birch, then for Henry's sake, don't. Not yet. <laughs>